Hi all. Today, let us go with the, some other primary air pollutants like hydrocarbons and particulate matter, their sources, effects and also the controlling methods of hydrocarbons and particulate matters. Now let us go with the first one, hydrocarbon as a primary pollu pollutant, air pollutant. The sources for the hydrocarbons as a primary air pollutant involves anaerobic or biological decay process in the nature, bacterial decomposition of organic matter or sewage waste. This is the reaction for the bacterial decomposition of organic matter to CH2O, it is an organic molecule, maybe aldehyde, formaldehyde. When this organic molecule undergo decomposition, it gets converted into carbon dioxide and uh, methane. So, methane is a hydrocarbon. It serves as a primary air pollutant. Third source for the hydrocarbon is automobile exhaust consisting of unburned petrol. And the fourth hydrocarbon source is the industrial source which include pulp industry, petroleum refineries, coke oven plants, chemical industries etc. So, this animated picture represents an aerobic biological decay process in the nature which gives the hydrocarbons into the environment or atmosphere. This is how anaerobic decay of the organic matter occurs. Now, next is effects of the hydrocarbons. It mainly causes carcinogenic effect on the lungs. That is, lung cancer may be the result of hydrocarbon inhalation. Secondly, Inhalation of vapors of benzene, which is a hydrocarbon, aromatic hydrocarbon, toluene, again aromatic hydrocarbon, causes much irritation to the mucous membrane. Thirdly, cyclic hydrocarbons such as cyclobutane, cyclopropane, cyclohexane, etc., affects nervous system. Methane causes narcotic effect in the human being. It causes swelling of lungs, cancer irritation on the eyes, cancer irritation on the eyes, it also causes extensive damage to the plant life. These are the various effects of the hydrocarbons, nausea, liver cancer, stomach cancer, kidney failure, etc. It is due to the release of hydrocarbons into the environment. Now, how to control this? Hydrocarbons from the auto exhaust can be controlled by the processes such as incineration, absorption, absorption. Hydrocarbons that is HC gets converted into carbon dioxide and water during the incineration and during absorption and during absorption. Secondly, using analytical converters we can control this. Methane when it made to react with the oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide water vapor. Now, the next primary air pollutant we have is particulate matters. What are these particulate matters? Where they find? Where they found? How these particulate matters will enter into the atmosphere and how they cause damage to the plants, animals and human beings? Now, let us go one by one. The term particulate matters refers to the solid particles and liquid droplets suspended in the air. This is the animated picture of the particulate matter. You can see here solid particles and liquid droplets suspended in the air. Secondly, particulate matter is also referred as aerosols which includes smoke, dust, mist and spray. The size of the particulate matter may vary from 0 0.0022 to 500 millimeter. Now the sources, if you come to the sources of particulate matter, dust is the main source. Main dust sources are from mines, quarries, furnaces, powerhouses, automobiles and domestic dust natural winds. Beyond the dust 
we have uh, also the sources of particulate matter as crushing grinding and blasting of solid materials in the mining industries processes of materials like coal cement and asbestos smoke is the another main source of a particulate matters incomplete combustion of a carbonaceous material will give smoke which causes the air pollution emission sources like from exhaust of train roads wood coal power plants open fire diesel engines automobiles gasoline engines etc and also we can have the another source the mist condensation of vapors dispersion of liquids chemical reactions forming liquid droplets and the spray like atomization of liquid droplets ash burning of a coal which leaves behind the mixture of non combustible inorganic oxides as ash now effects if you come to the effects of the particulate matter atmospheric dust causes allergic and respiratory diseases smoke causes cancer coughing nose blocking heavy breathing lead as particulate effects affects the children brain and particulate of small size causes the damage in lung tissues the acid and aldehyde particulates cause eye and nose and throat irritation in the plants absorption of carbon dioxide is restricted due to the particulate matters deposition of toxic metals on the soil makes it unsuitable for the plant growth so these are the some images which explains about the effects of particulate matter on the human beings most of the human organs are affected by the particulate matters how to control the particulate matter how to avoid the diseases or effects caused by the particulate matter the principle of control is based on the density stickiness and the electrical property of the particulate matter some techniques of are used as follows here control of smoke during a combustion use of suitable fuels which do not produce much smoke by maintain proper fuel to air ratio sufficient mixing of air and fuel maintain sufficient ignition temperature providing sufficient space to permit time for proper burning secondly gravity settling chamber this method used to remove large and heavy air particles the gas is passed slowly into the dust chamber in one direction the heavy particles gets deposited and this method is used for the preliminary purification so this is the dust chamber in which the particulate matter gets converted into some useful or harmless products secondly the simplest type of wet uh, method of controlling the particulate matter is a wet scrubber which is nothing but the simplest type of wet scrubber is a spray tower when the particulate gas is passed into the chamber it comes in contact with the spray water the water droplet captures the particulate and settle down at the bottom of the chamber so this is the diagrammatic representation of the wet scrubber or a spray tower and another controlling method is fabric filter particulate matters are filtered by passing through fabric filters made up of a cotton wool and artificial fibers this is the fabric filters so this is about the various techniques involved in controlling of particulate matters thank you all